Hello there, my name is Dr Gemma Newman and I'm a GP based in West London. Today I'd like to give you a few great tips to improve your general health and prevent a variety of problems. This video is for those of you who want to know how to prevent malaria. Now malaria is a serious disease which can be fatal, so prevention really is better than cure. Now the best way of preventing it is to try to avoid bites from the mosquitoes that could potentially carry the malaria parasite. So simple measures when you're going somewhere with a hot climate would be to wear long sleeves and be particularly vigilant around twilight and in the evening times when mosquitoes are more prevalent. Interestingly, light colours tend to repel mosquitoes more than dark ones, so it's worth bearing that in mind when you choose your wardrobe for your holiday. Having mosquito nets wrapped around your bed at night will also be good, preferably having ones that are permeated with permethrin, which repels mosquitoes as well. If you're staying somewhere with air conditioning, that's great. If not, then try to pick a place which has gauze over the windows to prevent mosquitoes from coming in at night time. Applying DEET spray to your skin will also help to repel mosquitoes and therefore reduce the amount of bites that you get. So if you can get a spray with preferably 30 to 50% concentration of DEET and put it on uh, skin exposed areas. Now your risk of having bites and getting malaria will also vary depending on which country you're going to be in. Um, now obviously uh, mosquitoes are more common in tropical and subtropical areas and therefore so is malaria. I would advise you to look on the Health Protection Agency website for advice on specific requirements for which country you're going to be in. If you're not sure you can also go to your doctor or your practice nurse or a travel clinic where they'll be able to advise you as to whether you need to take tablets to prevent malaria as well. Your doctor will be able to advise you as to which malaria tablets will be right for you, based not only on which country you're going to be in, but also on your own body and your own health. For example, if you're pregnant or if you have epilepsy or other problems, you will need to tell your doctor before you start taking any tablets. Some malaria tablets require that you take a course for up to a month after you leave a malaria endemic area. This is vitally important. Please don't finish your course of treatment early. Even if you're feeling fine three weeks after coming back from somewhere where you may have been exposed to malaria. This is because if you stop the treatment early, it may give the parasites a chance to multiply in your bloodstream if you have had any bites while you were away. Um, if you do suffer from a fever or a flu-like illness within a year of coming back from an area where malaria is prevalent, then you must go and see your doctor, especially if you get these symptoms within three months of coming back. I hope these tips have been useful and I wish you a very happy holiday.